Hi guys, it's Samantha. From childhood stardom to intense romances, this is the untold truth of Justin Bieber. Number 12. Early on, Justin Drew Bieber came into the world in March 1992 in London, Ontario, Canada. He is his parents' only child together. Their names are Patricia Mallet and Jeremy Jack Bieber, and they were never married. Justin's mom had him when she was really young, so her mother and stepfather helped raise him. He also had two half-siblings via his dad's ex-girlfriend, Aaron Wagner, named Jasmine and Jackson. Justin has a third half-sister named Bay, who was born after his dad married Chelsea Revelo in February 2018. He also has a stepsister, Allie through his stepmother. Justin took classes at an elementary school where the teachers spoke French, called the Jean Suave Catholic School. He also learned how to play several instruments growing up, including the trumpet, guitar, piano, and drums. When he was 12, he did a cover of So Sick by Neo in a competition and won second place, and his mom put a video of the performance on YouTube. As he kept singing, his mother kept posting clips, which ultimately gained him a fairly large following. Bieber graduated St. Michael Catholic Secondary School in 2012 with a GPA of 4.0. Number 11, Discovery. The talent manager and former manager of marketing for So So Def Records, Scooter Braun, was in search of a different artist video when he came across one of Justin's from 2007. Braun found the theater that Bieber performed in and ultimately found his school and got in contact with his mother. She didn't initially agree with her son working for Braun, however, because he's Jewish and she and Justin are Christian. But after speaking with her church's elders, she agreed to let him go with Scooter. When he was 13 years old, Bieber went to Atlanta, Georgia to work on demos. Just a week after that, he started singing for Usher. He then signed a contract with Raymond Braun Media Group, which is run by Braun and Usher. In October 2008, Bieber also signed with Island Records. He and his mom moved to Atlanta shortly after to keep working on his musical career. Number 10, Rise to Fame. Bieber came out with One Time in July 2009 and became number 12 on Canada's Hot 100 list during the first week. It also reached number 17 on the Billboard Hot 100. One Time was certified platinum in the United States and Canada, and gold in New Zealand and Australia. In November of the same year, he released the EP My World. The album was ultimately certified platinum in the United States and was certified double platinum in the United Kingdom and Canada. In early 2010, Bieber came out with the song Baby, which featured Ludacris, and it was a popular single worldwide. My World 2.0 was released in March of that year at the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 200 and reached first place on the Irish Albums Charts, Australian Albums Charts, Canadian Albums Charts, and the New Zealand Albums Chart. Justin Bieber was a household name at this point in his career, and more great things were coming. Number 9. Movies Although he is mostly recognized for his musical career, Justin Bieber has also done some acting. In 2009, he played himself in the movie Schoolgirls. Bieber also appeared in a couple of episodes of the series CSI Crime Scene Investigation as Jason McCann. Justin also showed up for a short moment in Men in Black 3 as one of the aliens on a television monitor. In 2016, he showed up in Zoolander 2 playing himself as well. A year after that, the Biebs voiced Kit in Killing Hasselhoff and he continues to make appearances in various shows and movies. Justin is also well known for his film Justin Bieber Never Say Never, which followed him on his 2010 tour. In 2013, his movie Justin Bieber's Believe came out as its sequel. Number 8. Bromance one of Justin Bieber's best friends is Jaden Smith. They first hooked up in 2010 for the song Never Say Never. The track was the theme for Karate Kid, in which Jaden played the main character. The two remained friends after filming the video for the song together. Jaden even had Justin's back when he took a break from his tour in 2017. Smith tweeted, I love Justin Bieber, and said, I just had to tweet. I think that he's amazing, honestly. He's really just like a brother to me, and he introduced me to Twitter, and a lot of people don't know that. I honestly just love him and what he's doing. The amount of change he's being able to make in the world is just just insane. He added, he will absolutely be okay. He's totally fine. I love him. Regarding the tour's cancellation. But Jaden isn't the only Smith who shows love for the Canadian superstar. His dad does too. It turns out that Will Smith is one of Justin's mentors. When he was 19 years old, Justin told The Hollywood Reporter that the famous actor and father of his best friend is a significant part of his life. During a difficult time for the singer, he and Will Smith would have a weekly phone call to talk about any issues, including everything emotional. So it seems the Biebs and the Smiths are very close. Number 7. Success after the release of the first two albums, Justin's success continued growing. In 2011, he started working on Believe. The first single from the record, Boyfriend, came out at second place on the Billboard Hot 100 in the United States. It also sold over 520,000 units digitally in its first week. Believe, his third studio album, was released in June 2012 and revealed a more grown-up sound than his previous works. In 2015, he made the single Where Are You Now with Jack Yu, which won a Grammy at the 2016 awards ceremony for Best Dance Recording. In August of that year, he came out 
out with the song What Do You Mean, which made it to number one on the Billboard Hot 100. His fourth studio album, Purpose, came out in November 2015. It sold well over 4 million copies by mid-2016. In July 2016, Bieber released Cold Water with Major Lazer, which came out at number two on the Hot 100. He also put out Friends with Blood Pop in 2017. Despacito was released the same year, and Justin was on the remix, which helped the song make it higher on the charts. In July 2018, he and DJ Khaled put out No Brainer, along with Quavo and Chance the Rapper. Bieber has notably taken home over 220 awards, including one Grammy, and has received over 430 nominations total. Number 6. Net Worth there's no denying Justin Bieber's success, so it shouldn't be too surprising that he's made a lot of money throughout his career. According to Celebrity Net Worth, he's worth about $265 million. Wow. He makes a lot of money from his music, of course, a lot of which comes from touring. Justin also took home a lot of cash from his documentaries. Plus, his endorsements play a significant role in his net worth. He has worked with Calvin Klein, Proactive, Macy's, Beats by Dre, Best Buy, Elizabeth Arden, and Adidas. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Number 5. Influences Justin Bieber had a boyish pop sound when he first stepped onto the scene, which gained him tons of recognition and won young girls' hearts all around the globe. He continued to awe the ladies as his style matured, but where did he get the inspiration for his unique sound? The Biebs has noted that Usher, Justin Timberlake, Mariah Carey, The Beatles, Boyz II Men, and Michael Jackson as some of his influences. Number 4. Bad Boy Bad Boy, what you gonna do, what you gonna do when they come for you? In addition to his successes, Justin has had some run-ins with the law. In 2012, he was charged with reckless driving, and in 2013, he was accused of vandalism in Brazil. A year later, his neighbor in Calabasas, California, claimed that the star threw eggs at his house and caused a significant amount of damage. Just a couple of weeks after that, Bieber was taken into custody for allegedly driving under the influence, resisting arrest, and driving with an expired license. The cops noted that Justin admitted to drinking alcohol, smoking, and taking prescription medication beforehand. After his arrest, over 270,000 people signed a petition to have the star kicked out of the U.S. However, former President Obama didn't comment. He was ultimately sentenced to take a 12-hour course in anger management and was fined $500 plus he donated $50,000 to our kids as part of his plea bargain. Later that year, he was taken into custody again for alleged dangerous driving and assault after he crashed into a minivan. It wasn't a great year for the Biebs or his fans, and another incident left him looking less than likable in the public eye. A video of him using using racist terms in a joke, leaked online. Then in 2017, the Chinese government banned Bieber from performing in the country due to his bad behavior. Number 3. Selena Gomez Perhaps one of the most prominent things Justin is known for was his relationship with fellow singer and actress Selena Gomez. They came out as a couple at the 2011 Oscars party, and Gomez talked to Seventeen about their relationship. They kept getting more comfortable showing their affection in public and attended the Billboard Music Awards together the same year. In September 2011, Justin even rented the Los Angeles Staples Center for a night to treat Selena to a romantic dinner by candlelight, as well as an intimate viewing of Titanic. They went on to go to the American Music Awards side by side as well, and in 2012, Rick rumors started making their rounds. The duo first called it quits in November of that year after having to deal with a lot of long-distance problems. But in April 2013, Gomez and Bieber seemed to reconcile for a while and were spotted getting up close and personal. However, things were still off and on for them. In late 2014, Justin and Selena were officially back together. Their romance only lasted a short while and they broke up again two months later. After a couple of other failed relationships, Biebs and Gomez appeared to be involved once more. But as of March 2018, the two decided to take another break. Number 2. Haley Baldwin More recently than Selena, however, Justin has been getting a significant amount of attention for his relationship with Haley Baldwin. They first met in 2009 by Haley's father, Stephen Baldwin, but it wasn't until 2015 that the two started getting intimate. Justin posted a picture on Instagram of he and the model smooching on New Year's Eve. Then in March 2016, Bieber told GQ, What if Haley ends up being the girl I'm gonna marry, right? If I rush into anything, if I damage her, then it's always gonna be damaged. It's really hard to fix wounds like that. It's so hard. I just don't want to hurt her. Over a year later, Bieber was back with Gomez, and Baldwin was dating Shawn Mendes, but they kept up with friendly conversation via text. In June 2018, however, they were spotted being lovey-dovey and holding hands in Miami. That same month, Haley and Justin were seen getting close together in New York City. Then in July, Bieber proposed to his lady. He wrote on Instagram, Haley, I am so in love with everything about you. 
so committed to spending my life getting to know every single part of you. I promise to lead our family with honor and integrity, letting Jesus through his Holy Spirit guide us in everything we do. I will always put you first. You are the love of my life, and I wouldn't want to spend it with anyone else. In August 2018, a source revealed that they were planning to get married very soon. Another insider said Haley has calmed Justin down a lot, and she has changed him into a man. He thinks she is his forever and considers her his best friend and soulmate. Justin is over his crazy phase and is more approachable and has been talking to lots of fans out there. He's happy to show the world that Haley is his girl and he feels at ease with her. In September, the lovebirds officially tied the knot. Number 1. Trouble in Paradise Justin and Haley seem happy with each other and very much in love, but a recent situation caused some tension in their lives. His ex, Selena Gomez, had an emotional breakdown. She was hospitalized after some medical issues, and during her stay at the facility, she couldn't handle the stress. Apparently, Justin's marriage to Haley might have affected Selena more than expected, and Justin has even partially blamed himself. He and Haley have since started going to marriage counseling meetings. Let's hope this duo stands the test of time. Today's featured comment comes from Michelle on our Things You Didn't Know About Zac Efron video. Thanks for your comment, Michelle. Don't forget to leave your thoughts below and we might feature you in a future video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.